didn't have a chance to get his boots on the ground, and now his body's buried. Dupree, the one to pick up the shovel. But it's going to be up to Surf to try and find the first incision on this retake. I feel like they're going to fall back at this stage, and Astralis put their first round on the board. 20 seconds, Henry. They have the support, they have the setup. It's Breezy on towards the apartment. We haven't seen too much from him already. Ethan draws blood. Glaive gone. Time. A factor. 15 seconds. Breezy holds down Mouse One. Close oh. match is way king. And leaves just to Vice. He's finished off by Sir. The correlation is actually Astralis haven't been trying to battle for that early control. A deep smoke, they usually just respect it. But that's not respectful. Glaive straight in. Oh, he's not done. Tags up Tarek. Could have been two. He had 49 HP as well. It looked like he was destined for the second frag, but Magus isn't slowing down at all, but he needs to be careful of spawn. So it's coming in with the AWP. How is he still alive? I thought he'd be spotted for sure, but he snuck through towards second oranges here. Flashbang from Sir to back of his teammate, Tarek, with the low HP. Oh, he really took a chance there, but the fact he gets a kill, absolutely justified, but it does fit Sir in a problematic position. He needs to try and buy time here for the flank coming in. I'm not sure they're expecting this so fast. Breezy with that fantastic spray control. Bit of a calling card of his. He gets the advantage. It's for EG now, it's a three versus two. Good flashbangs coming in. This kill is everything. And of course, he gets it through the smoke. Second for Breezy. And Magus has got his work cut out for him here. He's towards new box and he has the Krieg in hand, one of his signature weapons. But speaking of which, they're stuck to seal the deal. Six man for Astralis. I'm a pet for EG. Pushing Axe is aggressive from Stan. Breezy was there alongside him. A double push towards apartments. They've considered this before. This is the first time it's really had the payoff they were looking for. Zipex, he's gonna punish this though, it's so easy to bang. He has the support though of Dupree and Device. We'll see if any damage is inflicted. One player going down on either side so far, but this looks like a full commitment now. Astralis with the Molotovs down, the incandescence of the flames protecting Ethan towards the new boxes. Tarek oh! slides up the smoke, it's a double spray down Glaive. He's done it so many times with the V-bomb type before. He will have to go absolutely huge here. First kill comes in. Problem is the bomb's down in a very problematic spot. So I can hear him as he recovers the bomb here. Jumps around the corner, <laughs> completely destroys him. I swear, he's, if he checks banana, finds it clear. This is going to be, this decision by Glaive changes everything. It's A, it's A. He's off. He's made that choice. Had he returned to B, Stan would have found him. And now Stan seems to have sussed it out. Got the read. <laughs> Double check it. Oh, this is just comedy. He's going well. This is a sitcom! 15 seconds! Glaive bomb on back, three frags, looking to go one versus three, stands running! And the evil geniuses live up to the suffix! Too much to check. Circus rotated in. He's gonna be flashed through. This is a big play from him. Can't find a shot. He's gonna have to rely on Tarek here. Drops off, does manage to have the support of Ethan. They've got the players here and they're putting the bullets in all the right places. It's a massacre! Astralis ripped as they approach the beach side. Not a single player taken down by the geniuses. He steps and it will be him to push off this. this spot. Ethan has to hold his nerve. Swing out doesn't get the quick kill he was looking for here. He pulls back and takes a shot in the back and towards 48 he will go. Two frags to his name so far. They know he's going to be low and he's alone as well. He's going to be isolated. As we'll see Tarek rotating with the AWP. He's got a great gap. The bomb goes down. Can he find the second? Not quite, but there's opportunity there. This is looking fantastic. Tarek can't close it out. Magus with 50 seconds on the clock has got enough to work with here. Mott towards Banana so he can recover. The bomb itself, C4 on the floor. Cirque ready and waiting. The smoke about to dissipate. They just will go for the plant. Does he push through? Oh, the Cirque for now, but there it is. It's Cirque to finish things off. Double orb set up once again. Stanislaw getting in front of that smoke. This could be a great player. I don't know. Check this initially, but surely going to trade him out here. Advantage for Astralis, but not for long. Three versus three again, but Breezy isolated in the corner, but that doesn't stop him. Disadvantage for Astralis. Trying to find their third round here on the T side, but Tarek's ready. That's good jump. Does just put the bullet into the calves of Zipex. He can still operate. And now it all oh, picked up no. Magis. Unforgivable miss. Cirque does it with the USP. Yeah, you got to hit those ones, Alex. That was on a plate for him. It doesn't work out. And now he's left Zipex isolated. 13 seconds to his name. He's got to commit to this plan. Cirque can't justify pushing through. Oh, but now he can. Applying that pressure, but it's cost him his life. He could have waited for his teammate there. Breezy's didn't low. have to go in. Breezy's low as well. Zerk, full HP, has made that push without the opportunity for his teammate to trade and match oh! Stan, and just as all eyes towards Arch, you had Breezy appear from Quad. 
The way they're playing the CT side is gorgeous, and so is that from Ethan with the M4A1. Seems to land a Sanasaur. What an absolute genius he is. He'll be pushing through and finding the advantage, but Dupree looking to steal it away. He's going to have to do this through raw aim. He is insane. He's had a quiet game. Breezy shuts him down. Laven's <laughs> effects. Look at Trust. Apex to Ethan. Zipex with the impossible task. Sure, it's something he's known for, but to find four in this circumstance, the bomb's not even in his grasp. He does have a smoke and will choose to use it. That will give him a chance to obscure the genius vision and maybe, just maybe, pick up that bomb unscathed. He does so with a knife in his hand. It enables him to move swiftly and effectively. 25 seconds, he's going to have to commit towards the B site now. It's confirmed. All CTs present. It's impossible. Two from either side. You'd have to hit some ridiculous shots. They present it. Double aggression. Ethan goes down no, as well. No, 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 Flash no. high. They're not pushing. He catches himself. Tarek saves the day. 13 then to 2. We'll get into the second half, ladies and gentlemen. If EG pick this pistol up, it's going to be a very, very fast first map here. They'll be entering a four set to Kevlar. And flashbangs and a smoke, I believe, has already been deployed. And they send five players and a similar approach. Oh, my God. Scholars. They go for the big backstab themselves. Blade Women sings up. But Stanislaw is watching the flanks here. And he's doing a great job. Takes out Mages. Three more CTs there. He wow. just stems the bleed completely. Stan. Bullet into the brain of Glaive, puts it in a 3v2 advantage, EG, and extended now by that bomb plant. The smoke separates them, but they're not ready. Dupree will trade two in front of him, and Tarek deals. It will be 14, EG, they've won both pistols. Now I like this from EG, like a lot of teams would be tempted in this sort of round to just go for a rush deal, rush apartments, they're going to treat this like a methodical gun round. Yeah. They know how powerful Astralis are here, they know how clever they are as well. You don't want to run into a lion's den of a potential stack, you want to use the advantages you have here. The shotgun now detected towards quad, you want to potentially avoid that or just remove the head of Dupree, that also works very effectively. That's one way to avoid it, you can't yeah. be avoiding device though, certainly not for Breezy. So Device with that frag, they know exactly where he is. He does scavenge away an AK-47, but he hasn't got a single teammate to help him with this project. Bomb will go down in the hands of Stan. No kits, remember. And so they're going to have to move quickly. Device. Did they save him with the AK? I mean, we aren't seeing signs. Are, yeah, yeah. Are. we aren't seeing signs. Magic is still on T-Ramp. Glaive's got his knife out and he's walking around. Oh. Mid, yeah. Evil Genius's organization. They'll go into this round with three rifles, two SMGs up against the Savage AK. As Magus looks to apply pressure towards B, he might find a second kill with the flames there. Stanislaw down to five. Brings it still to a four versus four. Molotov's deployed to deny any weapon being picked up here from the CD side. Good flashbang. Does take down Stan eventually. That was ballsy from Majisk. Staring down the barrel of 15 and you're rushing banana. Never doubt Astralis, but Tarek. Ooh, open sight. Let's get the frag, whether or not they'll react on this. They don't necessarily have the information starting to piece it together. They clear, sandbags clear. Cirque holding W, he will try and join that smoke with a flash. I think there's a gap though. It's gonna be exploited. Device, he gets it. Bomb loose. They can still cross though. The fact there isn't any resistance from behind makes Cirque feel comfortable punching in the digits, at least faking it. Team Flash and a push now from Divide. The timing's so good. Cirque though lives on to fight another day, to plant another bomb. Two frags away from quite the statement from EG. Just Dupree and Zipex to save Astralis here in New York on map one, their map pick. Starting to push. Zipex on construction, Dupree's gonna be the first contact. A 5-7, they have the kits. Smoke as well, Dupree can apply pressure with the smoke in the kit, that's for sure, starting to push. Zipex gets the info on one. Second orange is eliminated, it's just Breezy down and Cirque left to save, they can't. Do they have the time? They certainly do have the kit. And all They've got should it. be We're good okay. in the hood. Astralis fight on again. I mean, that was, yeah, Device getting that frag enabled them to slow the round down. What? Stan looks to speed this round up with the CZ75. <laughs> A full, fully bought up Glaive just eliminated right out of the get go. Sucks with the creep. Connecting. Leaves just three Danes. Make it two Danes. They take the fight and it absolutely works out for Breezy. Zipex on that disc. And what is that, Zipex? A full, fully bought up Glaive just eliminated right out of the get go. Sucks with the creep. Connecting. Leaves just three Danes. Make it two Danes. They take the fight and it absolutely works out for Breezy. Zipex on that disc. And what is that, Zipex? This out. Right. Even if it comes down to a one versus one, they'll have the advantage knowing the other player will be on the other side of the map. Smoke towards spawn. This time, you're going to assume there's no gap there. I don't think it'll matter either way because it'll be Zipex positioned towards the coffins. He's smoked out as well. 
Here we go, 20 seconds remaining. It looks like this will be the final place. The effect's taken down. That should be GG, but it's Magus now. He's got the incendiary, HC, and a smoke, but he's so far away. He's going to have to make noise here, and you can see the positioning of EG. I don't see a world where they lose this one, Alex. Yeah, I mean, he'll, he'll have a good feeling for where they're going to be positioned, but it's a very different question of finding the frags. Is he ready for Tarek's corner? I'm not sure. Towards the logs, Molly towards new boxes. They know secret and Tarek. <gasps> wow, what is that from Magus? Quick flick. It's not enough. Evil geniuses take Astralis down on their map. They are going to meet. Back turned and executed. Great work from Device. He can start to cause the acceleration from EG on the other side of the map. And that's precise from Magisk. Two from him. Holding them back. Dupree doesn't have to do anything but observe at this point. Starts to throw bullets in. But his teammate has done all the hard work. Magisk, Glaive, double kill respectively to get this one started for the Danes. Weapons, it's dust too. You can keep them at arm's length. At least you can try. Now utility being thrown in. Device to receive them on A. Flashes aren't going to mess him up too much, but they start to dive towards CT, and that's a big connection. Tarek onto Glaive as well. They're locked out CT, but Tarek wants to bring the fight oh, to the oh, head. Oh, 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 two! Just like that, the round is over. Leaps towards CT, kills them where they started the round. May just on 50 bucks as well. He might as well call this a force fight. Either way, Stannis will open things up. Good shot from Tarek. Controlled, calm. As he patrols towards middle, his teammates go towards long now. They can just use a contact play towards that side of the map. Cool. Tarek is just deploying some self-preservation. It needs to stay alive. And, uh, well, that's not going to happen. Nice push from Zipex, but the A side is pretty much open at this stage. Yeah, actually, with Zipex now pushed up on towards that Xbox. It leaves Ethan in a really dicey scenario. Catches Magic's aggression from B, and that's going to make things awkward for Astralis. Dupree relieves some of it. Relieving the pressure with a fantastic connection onto Breezy. It had to be a headshot on the cross. Plants being held from... But Zipex somehow is ready for it. Catches Ethan, had the info. Two versus two. There is no kit. Time's becoming a factor here, Henry. And there's a Molotov available for Cirque as well. He's currently patrolling the long position, but two CTs remaining. Are they going for this? It doesn't look like it. EG will take the round. We talked about him before, the coach of EG. He loves his homework. Different protocols in place to deal with individual players. Something Device was known for as well. He looks at heat maps. He does the research and well, it's fighting fire with fire. Dupree is about to try and save the day alongside Magisk. They come towards B. Zerk, has got to find Magisk as well if he wants the chance to make an impact here. Tarek is arriving in window just a little late wow. to the party. Magisk deals with B all on his own. A one-man army. Three frags from him in this round. Yeah, this will be Astralis. That's the definition of an anchor right there. That's a really strong hold from Magus. As we'll see, Sanastor now trying to cause financial ruin towards the CTs. Doesn't really have time to do much with this at all, but he will find the device AWP. Nice footwork. The A site. Molotov there as well, so suggesting this is the final commitment. The bomb, however, is towards the B side of the map. They're trying to cause any sort of rotation they can. It's a great start from Stan. Oh, it's all on Dupree. He has to save B. He can't. He's only going to get the one. Magisk will arrive. Glaive's gonna solve this and take Stan out of this. He can't flank, can't cause a problem, but I'm not sure they're ready for Ethan. There's a second part of this plan, and it involves Breezy surviving players from every angle, but he still deals with it. Where did Cirque just go? Sends himself to hell. Ethan gets the frag onto Glaive, leaves them in a 1v1. Breezy looking for the triple kill. 15 seconds. Does get that bomb down. Magisk wasn't willing to call the bluff. Now oh. pushes in, and that's perfect. Again. Flying high, nade in his hand, doesn't hit the <laughs> shot, a warning shot perhaps, a panic flash is avoided by Stan, he can continue his advance, he is sweeping so wide into the site now, Astralis, they're in the hurt locker, they can't escape, they have to retreat, except that the site will be all flying the EG flag if Glaive goes down, Dupree does look to contest, Glaive 2 from long, they're looking to retake this early before the bomb does go down, Tarek tagged by the MP9, where's the bomb, it's late, it's still in spawn, they have the site, but Ethan, he's got to do this. He's got to get a second as well. One's not enough. He's got to keep that bomb on his back. Magic's falling. That's something. But Glaive, he is he's got the bomb. going to ruin everything. The bomb's now in spawn with 15 seconds left. It's deathmatch, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, it's dust two and deathmatch. Stan has to go hunting. There's no time to plant. It has to be bloodshed. Nine seconds. They just don't have the time. They're yeah. accepting it. They're conceding that this round will be Astralis's lead extending. For their cross. There it is. The first kill for Cirque, and it's a resounding one. Opening pick to Magus, who's been an absolute rock in that B bomb side. Five versus four. No real reason to ever commit to this one, but nice spray from Tarek. Doesn't do too much with the Galil in his hand, but there it is. Now Stan goes straight into Dupree's clutches, but the round. Unlikely to be taken by Astralis at this point. Full control. On his heart still beating. Perhaps a little faster for Glaive, because he's being pushed. Does get shut down. Great flash from Ethan. Glaive 
His screen was full white. Nothing he could do but click and pray. Oh, device a similar story for him through the smoke. Bullets aren't far off. Dupree's got a lot to do, but Stan makes it even harder. It's all on Dupree. He's got to go all the angles. The timing's perfect. Well staggered as they do enter the site. The bomb can go down. And with two left, they're running to long, trying to keep hold of Device's orb. Device with no utility to try and defend. He's going to cross over towards the pit, surf through the smoke. Open head as a lean towards A at this stage. Majors towards the mid doors with a dead vehicle. He's got the kit as well. It's a lovely play. You can see that boost working out very efficiently indeed. That's exactly what they wanted. Can they recover anything from it though? Device waiting on the A side, looking towards the ramp, using the smoke to his advantage. But Zipex will be dropped. Device has to deliver here. We do free and Device. Working in tandem there, Device wants a little bit more of the action here. Remember, no utility, but Magis finds his second with the Desert Eagle. A great round here. 32 seconds remaining, and Tarek surely can't do anything about this. They're not going to give him any opportunities, and Magis with the third. Yeah, flash from his teammates, that's the one. Zipex eats it. Device is supposed to be there to save the day, but it doesn't matter. Sir, quick can support. In fact, Tarek gets the assist. He must have caught Device. Lave not connecting the bullets, he had to, he had the headshot angle, now forced to retreat, can he get back into cover? Looks like the swing won't come in, instead EG, they play restrained, they know they have the advantage and the bomb goes down to extend that lead. Dupree looking to change things, he's not clean. Greasy, quite the contrary, dirty, finds another headshot, not too far off from taking an early frag through doors. Now Tarek leaping through, knife in his hand. The smoke arrives just in the nick of time and he actually looks to accelerate on this one. He perhaps wants to swing. So many staring at him, it's Glaive to deal with him. He has the Krieg. 2-2 Two -two split, this is, this is something similar. They tried to sell this before with Stan and Ethan. This time they're just gonna leave Ethan there. Utility thrown towards A keeps Glaive there, but the Breezy and Stan, this is the main project. And it's Magisk again, he shrugs it off. Every time EG throw B. Magis just laughs at them as well. It's a hard shot to hit, Tarek. Dissuaded by the bullets of Zipex. And now Dupree trying to get the timing. Ethan's ready. They save it so well. And now Evil Geniuses, they had to work up pretty damn hard just to find the equalizer, but they've got it. Here we go again. Stanislaw likes to be thrown in towards these bomb sites. It's not going to be the AWP against him, but it's a crispy device. He's waiting there with the Kree. He looks poised to get a couple more as well, waiting for his teammates to rotate in, buying as much time as possible before he makes his next incision. But it's going to be Ethan and Breezy with the lesser weapon in the Galil and Deagle going to town. They manage to get the advantage now. Two versus one. It's Magus, and we know he plays that B bomb site. He'll be rotating in, but he has got every chance to win this one. Tarek with no armor, AWP in hand, and in terms of the bomb plan, it's not a fantastic one. They have to stick on the site, but it's a really strong shot there from Tarek. Magis drawing blood with that scout doors. It's the optimal place for you to just dart back and forth. Oh, oh he's done so much damage. Another bullet connects. And the lesser weaponry becomes a massive factor here. The scout needs to find some headshots at this point. Glaive knows he can do it. The closer he gets, the more chance he has a frag. And there we go. I think Astralis can do this now. And they absolutely can. It will be a pretty clean sweep towards the end. They haven't got a kit, though. This might be very close indeed. It looks like they're absolutely fine. We'll confirm that as it comes through. Oh, it was tantalizingly close, but the defuse come through. Long and well aware they could already be out towards the blue box. The flash comes in. He does take a wild shot, receives one as well, but still his heart's beating, and so is mine as this round at the 50-second mark. Finally, we see first blood. It's Dupree from short. The CTs, they're going to have to play for the retake here. They have to accept they're not going to find a way in early. Dupree's making it even more difficult. Cirk brought down to a similar margin as Breezy. They're both so low, already one man down. This round looks like it's definite for the Danes. Dupree confirming it. Another one soon on the chopping block finds the head to confirm it. Stan couldn't have any less health and it'll be Glaive to finish. Hasn't been as impactful as you'd like it. Faster approach once more from Astralis here, making their way up towards short. It's played though, fighting towards long, going for the A split once again. Breezy gets himself towards a blue box, a position that's commonly overlooked, but not this time, Glaive. He is methodical, he checks every single spot and finds their headshots as well. Four versus three, Zerg Stanislaw will have to do what they can towards the mid position. Both highly regarded for their ability to contribute that could be enough to win them the round. The fact that they didn't get converted, they don't want to push on it. They don't necessarily have the information that Astralis have 105 HP between the three of them. Dupree's going to go fast. Straight out long flash by his teammates. Does get Breezy hot under the collar. A flash in response, but he's playing anti-flash beautifully, and the understanding was there. He tagged him up, but Tarek does one better. Gets the frag, and now things can slow down. The smokes arrive, but so do Astralis. Straight into the A site. Yeah, very fast indeed. They've noticed there's a lack oh. of players towards the short position, but Stanislaw's coming in with the FAMAS! 
He shuts down their approach. It looked like an open corridor all the way towards the bomb site. It's Zipex to finally take him down. The bomb should be planted in, no problem. But it's going to be Tarek making his way towards the A side, looking to take down Zipex straight after the plant here. The smoke will protect him for now. Great work from Zipex. Wow. We can't land a shot. The Vice will have to do everything he can. Big fuse can happen now, surely. There'll be no question huh? about that. That looks like a connection to me. But there it is. The 4D fuse will come through from Tarek. They'll win the round, but the Vice survives. And it's Breezy and Tarek working in tandem towards Long. It's up to Device to try and pull one back as the battle continues towards his position. He had the bomb, he had to get the hell out of there. That's probably why it's thrown over. It's circled with the M4, but oh, that was a bit of a sitter for Tarek. He had to hit that. They should be fine to win the round still, but it makes him problematic with his low HP. He really will be kicking himself with that one. A chance now for Astralis. Breezy trying to deny the plant a little bit late on the Molotov. He'll do some damage, but not much at all. Down to 89, and Device is recovered. He's ready to hit that shot, and he absolutely does. Takes down Breezy, three on three. This was looking like an absolute lock-in for them, and it's falling apart now. Still a two versus two. Oh! It's not over yet, Henry. Ethan, Stanislaw working together to get the job done. Bob the Builder would be proud. Device into the 1v2. Time though, he just has to play the game of survival. One drops and Ethan's so quick! In terms of positioning it from Cirque, he's on the air. 15 right seconds. Now. Absolutely. Do or die time for Astralis. They need to get a quick plant in here. Cirque starts to find some form. He needs another one to deny that plant. He has a bit of a misstep <gasps> there. Switched. Didn't even fire a shot. The bomb goes down. There's no chance to plant. They need to stay alive here on the EG side. They've done it. It's enough. The time running down. The couple of kills found. Yeah, but ever though the man to step up in these sort of scenarios, let me tell you, this kid can do it. He'll be waiting, but the flashbang is absolutely spot on there. It's down to Cirque now, M4 this time, but Oof. it's not good enough. Remember, he lost the Sniper in their previous encounter. This is such a massive round. And Stanislaw buried in towards the B side. He's hoping it's all a bit of a fake here. Tarek will have to be set up. There's the flashbang. This is their chance to get multiple frags. He does it! Two. Makes it so equal and actually now a problem. Magic swinging around from short. We'll try and get the molly, but already aggression from Ethan's been rewarded. Looking to make it a one. Oh, oh, he gets it! CT spawn. Tarek hasn't got the most ideal weapon for the job, but pushing through confirms his clear for now. As he flashes through, it's going to be a final A commitment here. And Cirk starting to nail some beautiful shots now. Can he get the second? He can't just yet, but he's still alive and kicking. Time could be a factor here. Bomb Where's, down in 25 bomb? seconds. Where is the bomb? Did right there. On the Did you get it? Okay, can be retrieved. Didn't go spawn. I was going to say, we've seen so many times it gets lost. Well, this time it's been taken from them. Tarek grabs it with only 15 seconds to spare. They're turning tail. Magic is about to clear B. My goodness, this is about to start to spiral out of control. Tarek has to get there in time. Picks up the orc. He has bullets. He doesn't have any HP, though. Five seconds, four. Oh, Where's it's done. Back? It's done. Breezy saves the day for EG. A last minute change of plan. And it's punished by the North American rifler. Uh, tested, passes with flying. Oh, 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 oh. Device is gone. Breezy makes his presence known. It looks like 15. Oh, oh so he finds himself the triple. Comfortable so far as he starts to warm into the second half. That's 15 EG, one, or one away from a 2 0 lead in this final. Starting an 8 7 lead at half. There he is. Once again, opening things up. We might be done here on Dust 2 with a 5 versus 3. Astralis, we praise them for being able to keep calm under pressure. This pressure seems too much. Another one, it's over. Does two, the pick of the Danes, the pick of EG, excuse me. Both of them though, Inferno and Dust two go in the way of EG. One frag remains, Zipix. It's 13 frags, he'd need 18 just to see another round of play on this map. Well, just a formality at this point, I would say. A five on one, it'll lead to a 16 12 scoreline. Them. This could be the reverse sweep. It's never happened before, but there is every chance with yeah. the tenacious Astralis on the server, this could be going down. Either way, it's a CT star for Evil Genius this year. We'll have a look at the setup for Astralis. They do have outside presence here with Mages trying to open things up. Smokes have been deployed, bomb to be planted as they make their way out of the main entrance. Gonna see Cirque get the first, which you priest head rolls and stats for Cirque are gonna have to really improve if they want to close this in three. He did find his form at the end of Dust 2, and now it's his chance to start with a bang here on train. Got the first, and that gets a second opportunity. Matt just falls. Three remain for the Danes. Bomb down, that's the only advantage they have. They certainly don't have the numbers, and it's extended the deficit by Stanislaw. Tarek's there as well, it's all on Zipex. They know exactly where he is. 
A beautiful dance from Breezy gets them that information. He's still alive. And they are on that bomb, and so this will be EG taking the first round of map three. Right. Just by in the second round, which oh. seems to have more success more often than not. Yeah, and on train no less, you pull three rifles straight out of the gate round two. Surf just laughing at him. Double kill. And this round's as good as over for Astralis. Such a heavy investment as well. You pull two AKs and a Krieg into your second round. They got nothing done there at all, Astralis. As, as I said, these rounds normally fall in the favor of the T's, but. 25. And they won't be alive for much longer. That Zipex gone. Stan is burning, but not quite to the crisp. Or perhaps more credit to be given to EG. Combination oh of both. What is that? Oh, yeah. Looking flustered. 28 seconds. Fumbling with their utility. Good damage though. Well, it looked like it. No, Even. Six. <laughs> six. <laughs> Didn't quite feel the brunt of that bullet through the cover. 15 seconds. The smoke enables them to try and get that bomb down. It does do that. But in the meantime, Ethan catching Glaive. Port Cirk just before he fell though, so keeps things level for now. Dupree looking for his first frag here, round four. Good damage, it should be finished off by Magis. And perhaps a second great transfer, Stan's gone. Numbers favor Astralis, and the numbers on the clock ticking away as well with that bomb down, down to Tarek. It's gonna be Zipex to finish it. Astralis find their first clean. It's, it's a little bit strange to see how this one's going down. Ooh. They trade blows, it's Sanator that goes down at the lower ramp, and from upper, it's Zerg uh, to take down the Orpa of Astralis Tower. This is so sick. You wouldn't. This is so sick. The point oh! from Brooklyn! Oh! It's looking for a brawl! And he's got two! Glaze will silence him, but the roar has been heard throughout the Barclays Center. Zipex and Glaze then for Astralis in pursuit of two. Wow. There is one player creeping towards inside, Zipex. Undetected for now, but Cirque will take him down. Three versus one. Glaive can win these. Play from Tarek there. If he gets two frags, it should be round done. But like we said, Glaive has a chance to win this, but that's quickly eradicated there. Zipex this time. Trying to throw the Molotov towards Pop, and does look like it landed. Dupree, close but no cigar. It's Glaive though, smokes him. Up. Great stuff from Glaive as they go down Pop Dog as well. Tarek in a prime position to shut this one down. Looking for the double spray oh. down, but he's fluffed his line some more here. Needs to find at least one of these kills. Trying to run the clock down as low as he can. That could be enough. The Vice now has to pull out the pistol. Oh, it's Tarek coming in on top. One versus one. Ten seconds remaining. He can hear Glaive next to him. He knows he has the advantage here. Trying to duck and weave. Who will come out on top? Tarek's trying to use every trick in the book here. It's a fake part. It's an all in commitment from Glaive. Oh. And it's one that works out for him. He holds his nerve. They set themselves up for a pop flash towards the Ivy position. There it is, I have to run through the flames somewhere here, and it will be a very sloppy encounter, but they've come out on top here. They've stolen two weapons away. It's a scout of Ethan trying to hold the door here towards the main entrance. Sure. Three looks to ensure a good start. That's one, catches Stan. Three will be the first contact, no surprise there. He has the angle, has the chance, but won't be able to seize it, and now Breezy makes his presence known. Quick presence and quick frag is the end of that one, six to two. Zerk, he started so strong here on training. He's looking to open up again. Device was ready for it. Delivered. Smokes outside. Looks to be an inside play to me, though. Oh, that's Ooh. wonderful from Glaive. Ethan didn't know what was happening there. The flashbang comes down. He tries to avoid it. Time to perfection. Not going to be enough. They might as well save at this point, Alex. This looks really quick. Ethan, too, to receive. He's going to be full blind, though. Five off a warning shot. This is going to be a quick round, I'll tell you now. Dupree with a double. Magisk is there as well. And just like that, one minute 38 still on the clock. The round has only just begun, but it's over. They're just working slow positions together. They're going to find a bit of trouble here. Ducking and weaving, but he's got no chance. He'll be dropped any second now, and it's going to be Zipex to close things out. That's a massive round for Astralis to pick up. Holding angles waiting for them. We're yeah. going to get to take the game towards them. Device knowing that the buy is poor, willing to take a risky push, and that risk nearly got punished. Nice work from Ethan to catch Glaive, catch the weapon as well. Oh, Adrian, wait. Ethan's hands, stands pushing to Zipex. Device is still having an awkward fight happen. They took their eye off the ball for a second, but contact. they just spotted, and indeed, drop it down there. Oh, that's powerful. They're going to have to boost up now. They're kind of fumbling this a little bit. The smoke will obscure Stan's view, though, but I think the Molotovs... Ah, oh, it worked out perfectly. Actually, no, I didn't. Now, and can't take that fight. Time's become a, become a factor. If you let them retrieve that bomb, Breezy's got one. That's the hard one as well. He got the bomb, though. And Device gets the bomb and runs. No HP. He's going to give it a good go, trying to find the safest spot to plant. He's worked it out. Five seconds. What? He gets the nose, but no time, though. And just like that, Stannis Law wins the round, but Device, you cheeky bee. It's like, you know what? Everything yeah. we practice, everything we do, throwing that away, and I'm going to go down early, but it looks at <laughs> like things, but Mages will bring it back to a four and four. 
And quick reactions onto Zipex gives them the man lead as they start to commit towards the site. Three men in already from Astralis. I don't know if they're ready for stand. Magic was. CT utility used to enable them to find some fresh angles for this fight. See, often very awkward, but so is Glaive's position. He can really destabilize them here. He doesn't have to do anything for now, but just survive. The element of surprise still real, but not if Breezy finds him. Magisk is on two already. He'd be on for the ace at this point. Gets three to remain. Oh! Finally shut down by Cirk, and so now all onto Device to defend this bomb plant. Does manage to keep it level. He's got a molly. That's the winning formula. Bomb is planted for it, and so now the hunt begins. Breezy, he's in hot pursuit. Now oh! running the clock down. Device plays it to perfection. Wow, and the reality is that this could be an 8 7 half for Astralis. <laughs> and they're just charging. It works every single time. Charging into the EG ranks fast and furious. The double kill. Tarek Hart, the element of surprise. Dupree will pick the pieces up, though. No worries. Ethan, the first to break the drought of frags that EG have witnessed here in the last round of the first half. And that's the end of that. Astralis, they keep things as close as they could. Start to gather their resources. It's going to be Stan, Ethan, throwing out the utility. Still a Molotov is starting to throw the flashbangs in to enable the assault. Playing anti-flashes device. And he's looking to hit the shot. So are they, though. He's more worse for wear than them. Stan's patience being rewarded, but he doesn't get the shot. And Dupree, that's a gap he can now exploit. Ethan's going to have to react accordingly. Glaive flashed off for a moment, and it's only oh. a moment. Now Cirque's on the board. Finds Dupree to start off this half with a bang. Numbers favoring evil geniuses by considerable margins, especially now the bomb's ticking away. He gets the info and can't execute Tarek. He knew exactly where he was, but couldn't find the shot. And Tarek looking to close things out here. Yeah, I think he might have done it. Four versus one. Make it zero. Lovely work from evil geniuses there. It's their chance. Tarek out early. He knows it's not going to be an abundance of utility, but Dupree's Deagle should never be forgotten. Such a powerful weapon in his hands, and he's demonstrating it right here in Brooklyn. Switches to the AK, falls with the damage done. Devices, Scout found a frag as does Glaives 5-7. Leaves Ethan looking to pick up this big chaotic round and start to stabilize. That's a start. Didn't lose too much health for the exchange either. Catches Glaive. The bomb's loose, and actually in Magisk's domain. Gets that information, starting to work this one out. Catching him on the cross, that's impossible. Two to receive, it's Zipex. This is his sight. The flash, however, forces him off. His reaction to swing all the way to the left-hand side and able to device to start taking shots, and he can tuck himself into oil, and they wait for that bomb to go down and their teammates to arrive. They recede and concede the site, the plant. Numbers, however, available for Astralis. Not yet to lose a man, yet to lose a point of health. Tarek pushing up as best he can. He's going to be coordinated. It's time for that preparation to pay off. Everyone should have their flight paths. How do you retake this? How do you clear this? The problem is right now, EG have no utility whatsoever. They can't flash, they can't push through, but Tarek has found an entry point here. A couple oh. of kills coming in. Three, it goes down to the two versus two. Time ticking away on that bomb now. Breezy and Cirque trying to hold on. Good HP for Cirque. Massive frag found, and Magus already got two to his name, but now surely can't do anything with it. EG will tie things up. An unpredictable one, perhaps. What? But Stan and Tarek just launched a nuclear Strike onto Dubrian De De device. Glaive responds with some aggression, but this could be punished. This could almost confirm the round immediately, but he changes it. 10 HP. 25 seconds. If he can just make things awkward, stop that bomb from crossing. It's on the back of Ethan. They're about to start the cross. He does. Bomb loose. 18 seconds. The rotate's coming in. Magic's gone backtracks. Glaive, he does back up as well. 13 seconds as Breezy's going to pick up that bomb. I'm not sure it can be stopped. It's Magic's the only one with a real possibility. And Cirk ensures survival. EG poised for their 11th. Just Zipex and Glaive to have something to say. They won't finish the job. Glaive low. He's done so much heavy lifting already with the double kill. I think Astralis may have to concede this one. He did absolutely everything they could. But when you start off a round with a double HE kill, what really can you do? I believe Zipex from that connected. I'll focus towards the upper position. Knowing when the money's low, that's a great place to go. But it hasn't worked out too well so far. It's the mow down from Glaive. He could keep them alive here. As it's now a four on two. Some time boards. Zipex still alive. Looking to cause damage. And he's done it. Doesn't get the frag, but even down to 15. It looks like that kill's guaranteed. And now it's up, two versus one. Device is trying to get That's the information. That, that should be enough. And now he can tell Dupree to fall back. He's got a plan to be taken oh, down. Shots from Dupree miss. And now he's got a shot. Gets the 1v1s he was looking for. Oh! He, oh, he takes the fight and wins it. The Dane with the Deeg. Will be able to react accordingly. Dupree setting himself up to keep hold of Olaf. And Breezy continuing to dance around. Keeps the attention drawn as Stan arrives. And 
Does arrive in the kill feed as well. Good damage from Glaverly. Able to back away as he brings Ethan down to seven. Yeah, but this site control and bomb planted. Very difficult round for Estrada to pick up here. It's down to Glade. He tries to deny the plum, but it's not going to happen. Device has already been tacked up. He's at the back tracks here. We'll see if this backstab from Magus is enough. Three versus three. Two players incredibly low. That kill is massive. The timing works out for Ethan. Zipex, he's got the kit. There's a smoke available for Device, but isolated on the bomb site right now. Tarek on the other side. And now it comes to a close. 13 11. USP at Connector. Really not an ideal situation. Tarek with the bomb towards Boa. They commit off this. They pretty much guarantee the round, and that will be championship point locked in. Just need to get that plant through, and it looks like there's enough. Ethan Serkson in the feed. Yep, this one will be the 15th for Evil Geniuses. It will put them one round away from your ESL 1 New York champions. And here comes the push. It's so good. Glay finds two. No resistance presented until Tarek shows up on the site. Where's the bomb? Good connections from Sir, keeping things level. Oh. Now we're talking, and so is Device, he's shouting. Bomb goes down, and from behind, Dupree strikes. It looks like Astralis have weathered this storm. The match point, the championship point. EG couldn't handle it, and four back to back from Astralis. They keep EG honest. We're off to overtime. The outside execution looking quite likely here. Two smokes down and players towards that main entrance. Flashed off. Tarek can't connect. This is it. Can they hold on? It's the first two kills in favor of EG. Looking to take us to double overtime. It looks like it's enough. You better believe it is. We're going to double overtime. Move you make. It's an opportunity and the double drop does not work again. Stan. Oh, and he's magic. Gets the triple. He's being fed the frags. And Astralis are being gifted this one, leaping out with his knife, Tarek falls, and it's concluded right there, Astralis. For now, it looks like they are going to be committing a good strafe from Sir, draws devices fire, but the bullet does connect, and Dupree matches that. It did cost him quite a lot of his health, and being hunted by Tarek, he manages to evade it. Up the ladder. Oh, he doesn't check that. Oh, they're playing hide and seek. And Denmark. Clearly world class at it. Position, if he gets one bullet in his general direction, he'll take him That's down, lovely. there it is. Hunted. And the two on two continues. Zipex in a prime position. Need to make this shot happen. He can't find it. And Glade with no kit. Remember, five sets of Kevlar coming into this one. There's nothing to be found here. He needs two very quick kills. He'll have to tap the bomb and see if he can bait them out of this stage. Another one comes through. Santa still trying to stay alive the best he can. It looks like it might be possible for Glade. Position right here. He can jump on the railing and see over the smoke, and he's done just is. that. Good it's call. his perfect play. Body shots. Reddit would be happy. Fast. Yeah, just looking over, they didn't see it coming. It's two clean kills coming through, and Dupree, oh, he's just having fun at that point. Bit here, as Zipex will be ducking and weaving around the smokes. Device, looking to see if there's any gaps available. Heavy damage towards Stan, but still alive and kicking for now. Circle open things up. First round with the AWP, and a successful first blood drawn. Stan looks to match it and double up. Huge work. Just the Stan and Cirque show in round five of map four of our grand final. One proving to be a very turbulent start for Astralis. Familiar territory, sure, but not necessarily a familiar opponent. Not successfully. Astralis falling in the best of three earlier in this tournament to the evil geniuses. Now, Glaive falling early. Courtesy of Ethan and Zipex still can't find a frag. Stan ensures this round's not the one. Damn, this is brutal. This. This is the confidence from Tarek, but it's manifesting itself in the server. They're going back towards up and out. What an oh. insane call that is. They've actually rotated two players on the CD side down towards lower. Ethan's patrolling the vent, but it might not be enough here. A window of opportunity now. Astralis do have two players towards upper. 55 seconds, but the pincer maneuver is coming. Breezy can go towards that heaven position and shut them down as Magus burrows himself in towards the hut. Three players still alive and kicking on the CT side, but Dupree only has six points of health. Depending on the pace from Evil Geniuses and Stanislaw's Law's positioning, they could get caught out. Dupree, he's so low, but he's such a crucial position as well. Stan can find his back turned here. Perfect. That's the site going to be wide open. Magic, however, unannounced for now. They've checked Hut, and now he's really feeling the heat. He doesn't have team or teammate support. Still catching Stan with 20 seconds left. The bomb going down, and so is Magisk. Catches him on the overextension with the HE. Oh! oh no Triple X! Oh, you do that, he's created! That's like something out of the comic books! And they are down one to eight. Being so dangerous. 
Stanislaw sneaking out towards the upper bomb site here. He's going to find another frag. Dupree holds the door for now. It's still the advantage for Astralis at three versus two as bullets are exchanged towards the main entrance. A bomb to be planted here. Still a chance of victory, but Zipex looking to shut things down. Hasn't had many frags so far, but that's a very important one. Ethan, 20 HP, but surely no chance. If he can find a kill or two, that would still be a success in its own right, but surely he can't actually win this one. I would have said oh, smoke himself in the corner. Smoke. Would have been great. Cool idea. Gonna be coming out from Ethan instead. He's been tagged to one HP, converted by Glaive. <laughs> Some points here, one more round will do it. They've gone for Galil's UMPs and an aggressive play from Dupree. Starting to now they're the ones receiving it almost every single time. And devices holds back in CT spawn and waits for them to make mistakes and an opportunity for him to find multiple frags. There's going to be a five on three situation. We said Zipex has had a quiet game so far. If he can get out of this ramp room now, he's done absolutely everything he has to. One kill, full back. That's enough for a ramp player. Evil Genius, they had the recipe for success, but it seems that Astralis have changed the ingredients. It's gonna be their fifth in a row now. Hello, Treacle. 1,500 bucks in the pocket. Stan will not get any more. It was such a prime spot to shut them down. It could not be better for Glaive. Just starts the spray. Him and Dupree working oh. in tandem, but Hello. a flurry of frags in response. Four frags from Zipex. Oh. He's still oh. playing the waiting game. No, Who he can see him. first? There it is. Smoke starts to dissipate, and now it's time for Zipex's own to come into play towards main. We'll lock out one. Stands there as well. Sir, he's gonna have to be aggressive and he knows it. The time's running away, they're not on the bomb. It's down to Stan. He's got a smoke, so have they. It's gonna be about this frag. He has to stick them off the bomb. They're defusing, and Astralis, they close the gap. It's like train all over again. We are going a little bit quiet out there, guys. I need you with us. Just build the energy back up. This could be the final half of counter shot. Let's go, louder. Give me more, give me some more. There we go. Into the pistol round, it's going to be a fast start from Astralis here. Down towards the banner, oh, freezing oh. to open things up. The bomb gets dropped. This is a massive pistol, I can't stress that enough. If EG pick this up and find the conversion <laughs> as well, it is absolutely massive. Freezy's positioned himself on top of the bomb. It was Zipex, he got caught off. I think it was because of the flash. He tried to tuck himself into the vents, but he overextended. And now, he's, they're paying the price. Ethan draws blood again. Three remain, two remain. Evil geniuses are flying through this pistol. Every fight they take, they connect. Now Dupree, very late arrival to the fray, finds the first, but four more training their sights oh. towards his exit. It'll be Ethan to find his second. They want to close the gap, make the MP9 even more viable. Breezy oh. goes to oh. the push, and he gets two. I'm not sure they're going to be ready for this now, because Tarek, he's going to be right back from where they first found the frag. It's going to be a fullback procedure here from EG. Oh, no. Tarek throws the smoke, gets enough. That's fine. Not ideal, but he takes one down with him. Three versus one, and EG win an absolutely mammoth round there. He's doing it again. This time he's brought Circle on to play, and that trade, oh, not even goodness. necessary. It's all on Tarek. Towards his ramp room. Ideally, he just wants to take one and drop down. If he feels uncomfortable, can just leave as well. It's fine. Ramp room's on a bomb site, and Circle rotates over. Fantastic it's shot. Perfect. That's enough with the bomb going down as well. It's a dream for Tarek. The bomb in his grasp, and they're not going to be necessarily ready. Good damage, but not enough. Oh, oh wow. Millimeters, it's all Breezy needs. Finds the head of device, puts Magisk and Dupree into dire straits. Yeah, and it this has looks to, like 13. It has to be made instead of delivers here. He's got 100 HP. Dupree can't really do much about it. Significant damage, but they know exactly where he is now. Three versus one. He's been painted into the corner, and it is going to be another impressive <laughs> victory there for evil geniuses. Once again, five rifles as Astralis try to mix up the pace here. The flashbangs are decent. Stanislaw can't find the first frag, but there it is. He's already done damage towards Zipex. This is getting uncomfortable now for Astralis. It's the HE grenade. It's down to Glaive to try and pull this one back. Another three versus one. Device has the bomb. He'll drop down towards lower. Can't even get a plant at this point. Remember, if he gets a plant, they still have a chance to buy in the next round. That looks like it'll be successful, but still, the round victory looks so likely for EG. And there it is. The bomb being planted in the previous round does enable them to get this full buy once more. Molotov thrown it towards the main entrance. A faster approaching device once again. So much pressure on his shoulders and he doesn't live up to expectations. Softens him up for the Orgs on the hip, but Dupree duck. Did have the bomb as well. Now Tarek's received and they know the bomb's down lower. Magisk trying to save the day for Astralis as he did on train. Two huge frags puts him at six. He started this round with four and now Circle looking to go one versus two. Bombs down, he's got a lot of ground to cover. 
He'll make no secret of his descent into the vent. And now it's a frag he has to hit. Magisk for Astralis. Ever resilient. Tend to deliver. So the stand is nearly two. He does find Glaive at 20 HP, but look at his positioning from Breezy. Wow. So confident. He's been hitting some absolutely ridiculous shots. Might be enough to persuade Tarek to commit as the doors open. It confirms it. Glaive doing everything he can to try and keep eyes on him. Enables to do free to take the first. Tarek gone quick from Cirque. Bomb down. Bomb not quite within reach. It will be scooped up now by Glaive, and Zipex keeps him safe. 10 seconds on the clock as they extend it. Ethan and Breezy can put them on championship point. All they've got to do is find frags, but Glaive finds his second with just 20 HP. Oh, and Zipex couldn't be in a better spot. They've got the crossfire. That's no! Ethan! Oh! And he's done it! Two huge frags! It couldn't mean more! 40 seconds. The pressure is on Astralis for numerous reasons, but it's also the fact they're on the T side. They have to make the play. It's Tarek to start the play. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. The boy from Brooklyn does it on home soil in the Barclays. Zipnik's glaive remain to keep Astralis. It's the it. Trophy stand confirms it. 20 seconds. What have you got, glaive? I don't think it's enough. No bomb, no hope. And EG. They let trade slip away, but they don't make the same mistake on Nuke. It's Nuke, no less. Astral is forging a dynasty on that map for EG. They've done it here in New York. They drop a single map on that road to glory here. We knew they were a dangerous team at NRG. They were turning heads, but a rejuvenated squad under the EG banner looked absolutely unstoppable. Brilliant performance throughout this. I can't express enough how impressed I am with the individual skill, the synergy, the preparation. It was a beautiful package all around, and Astralis are stunned by that performance on Nuke. Berlin, Astralis made a statement. That was how we phrased it. And now right back, EG finds their voice. Breezy, Cirque, Stannis Law, Ethan and Tarek remember the names because it's a potent mix as they do take Astralis down a peg. Ladies and gentlemen of New York, put your hands together. The kings of Counter-Strike, dethroned by an evil genius. North American Counter-Strike is here to stay. Your New York champions. It's evil genius, guys.